Hi, my name is Justine Britt and I am an Aroma coffee shop owner. I opened my coffee shop on Main Street, not far from the business school and near downtown Central Mall. I chose this location because there are many retail stores, restaurants, boutique shops, and service businesses that attract local people, students, and tourists. I expected the coffee shop to be a success because of its location where people working downtown can come grab a cup of coffee before their meeting, students can come between classes and hang out with friends or work on school projects, visitors and local people would find this place cozy and relaxing to meet new friends and relax while shopping. I named my shop Aroma Coffee because I love the smell of freshly brewed coffee. I sell a variety of specialty coffee in the relaxing atmosphere with friendly staff and expect my business to provide a great service experience. I believe that life starts after coffee. While I expect a running coffee shop can be very exciting and fun, I also know that this fun place has to generate enough money to sustain itself and pay off $25,000 loan and a 10% interest rate. Therefore, my company's objectives are to work Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. to see what kind of business I can generate. I hired two full-time management and five part-time servers to run the shop. Based on the industry research, I decided to pay $600.50 weekly manager salary and a $9 hourly server salary. The wages are competitive and I expect to have a great team to serve the customers in a friendly and timely manner. To draw on the customers, I chose to advertise online and on the local radio station to generate awareness of the Aroma Coffee. I have priced my coffee at $4 for a medium cup. This price is higher than the average competitors, but I will offer a 50% promotion to attract the customers. Customer satisfaction will either drive more customers or in my business. Therefore, I will order surveys to capture their experiences. Creating my company's logo and had them printed on the coffee shops also serves as an advertisement because people often carry the cups as they shop, walk around, or go to their business meetings. I put a list of startup costs and expected the business to become profitable within two months. To start the business, I needed to buy an espresso machine and furniture. I found some elegant tables at the local antique shop. They were slightly used but affordable for $2,000 and provided sufficient seating for the shop. I found a four cup espresso maker for $6,000 that should help me produce enough coffee in a timely manner. I bought 5,000 cups with my company logo printed on the cup for nine cents per cup. To start, I chose good quality coffee and paid $5 per pound. I advertised online to promote general awareness of my business. I ran at an average of 88% capacity at the first four weeks and made a special decision to add a weekend shift, expand hours of operation from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. I've hired a third manager and five additional servers. I've also started buying higher quality coffee at the cost of $6 per pound. To increase customer traffic, I added radio advertising and ran a 50 cent off the medium cup of coffee campaign. Coffee and a pastry make a great pair, so I decided to purchase some pastries from a bakery. These special decisions have increased customer satisfaction, awareness, and revenue. My income statement looks great. I've, after 12 weeks of running Aroma Coffee business, I have made $28,547 in profit. All, my gross margin of $94,000 was sufficient to cover all fixed and variable costs at this rate I can expect to pay off my $25,000 with a 10% interest loan by the end of the year. As well as provide employment opportunities for those who need a job, become part of the community, and make friends. This was a successful business adventure for a rookie student. Like every business, I was in it to make money and have fun along the way. My balance sheet also looks great. I had a stable and positive cash flow that excluding my loan, generated $28,547 in total equity. As an investor, I feel good about the outcome of management operations of my business. Although my competition did better, my overall performance was satisfactory. I achieved 27% margin and made $28,547 in profit. I ran my shop at 88.2% capacity that I believe is good because my customers did not have to wait long for their coffee.
customer satisfaction rate was only 60.9%, and that means that 4 out of 10 customers were not totally satisfied. However, industry average was 57.9%, and that means that my shop performed above average. The most interesting concept in the simulation was having access to the market data that showed customer satisfaction for my shop and the industry average. Because this rate defines if I stay in business, paying attention and comparing myself to the industry is very important. Operating within the budget is the most important thing in the business world, as well as individuals' personal life. I was careful not to overspend my startup decisions so that I could run my business efficiently and profitably. The result was favorable due to my actions and I have made profit. Therefore, finding a balance between being a low cost provider and leading the industry in customer satisfaction would be something that I will apply in my future career and business. Thank you.